Hello there, my beautiful viewers, and welcome to Hack Attack. Me and Kai has been working hard on trying to do a cool update for Agonizer, and I think what we've got this time is pretty dope. And for anyone who is new to Agonizer, you might end up sitting here not understanding what's going on. Well, I suggest you go and check this playlist in where you'll find a full video tutorial for Agonizer. And then you'll find some other videos in where I do follow-ups whenever we've made a new update and added some stuff to Agonizer. Right, so my name is Jakob Hack, I'm your host, and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. Let's roll the intro. First of all, me and Kairos wants to thank all of you who have purchased Agonizer Synthesizer in the past and any in-app purchases inside the app, which are always preset packs. We never want to lock our users out of using any new features or functions we're putting into the app, but if you want to continue supporting us and the work we're doing with the Synthesizer, well, buying our preset packs is a surefire way of doing it. And the preset packs are always heavily themed after the main theme of the update. <laughs> the presets have been heavily inspired by the work I've been doing for the past year, building my own Eurorack system. But we're not going to talk about that in this video. So even though Agonizer is still a disgusting, dirty sounding, vobulating bass synthesizer, you can now do sounds on it that doesn't have any bass in it. So we're going to start right here. As you can see, we have now added two more filter modes, and this drastically widens the sonic palette of Agonizer Synthesizer. So here you'll find a 24 decibel per octave high pass filter and a 24 decibel per octave bandpass filter, and both of them are self resonating. Now, nothing has really changed about the way that you modulate the filter. It's just that you now also have two new modes that you can play around with. However, on the topic of modulation, we now have some new destinations in here at our disposal. If we activate the routing button so that we can see all of the routing destinations, well, now we have access to the attack, decay, sustain, and release controls for the ADSR envelope. If we look at the AD envelope, we can control the attack and decay knob with modulation, and in the oscillator section, we can now control the detuning knob and sub-octave knob. And on top of that, if we go down to the vobulator, we now have control over the rate knob and also active steps knob. <laughs> And even though all of this is pretty dope, the dopest thing in here is what we've done inside the routing matrix. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to add LFO modulation to the filter control. We're going to set it to a bandpass filter, use a sawtooth waveform, and just make a very, very simple patch. Now, if we go into the modulation routings where we can do fine adjustments of things, we can now find a new thing here to the right. 
these are the modifiers. And if we open up this list, we can see a bunch of things in here. And so now you can do modulation that is conditional on something else like this. If we add a modulation wheel here and pull this all the way up, then we now have modulation control over how much the LFO actually affects the filter. Being able to control modulation strength like this is super helpful when you're trying to build expressive patches. And so apart from just being able to use modulation wheel for this, you can also use key presses and MPE elements like slide. <laughs> Conditional modulation is super powerful and really widens what you can do with a synth. And I'm so happy that me and Kai were able to put this into Agonizer without breaking anything, which is a complete lie because we broke everything and we had to fix so many things just to make this work. Now, I love game sounds like 8-bit sounds and chiptune music. And there's this one sound that you can make in any synth if you have an LFO with a pulse waveform and an oscillator that you can modulate. Now we're gonna make this conditional on an envelope. So we're gonna add a modifier and we're gonna add the AD envelope here as a modifier. And then we get this instead. Now, wouldn't it be nice to be able to show these modulations somehow on the main interface? Well, no, you can because Agonizer has been upgraded with the X-ray mode. You can activate the X-ray mode by just pressing this button here. And now you have a way of actually monitoring the modulation on the main page. Now I could go on for ages when it comes to anything that has to do with modulation, but I'm not gonna. As you can see, we've added stuff that definitely expands on what you can do with Agonizer Synthesizer. And we wanted to be careful here because we designed Agonizer to be the best bass synthesizer for me. And the high pass filter in particular is kind of antithetical to well, that vision that I initially had. But we also wanted to give something new and significant to all of you who are already using Agonizer Synthesizer and maybe entice some new people to want to buy Agonizer Synthesizer. So to any existing users, all you have to do to get access to these new features is basically just update Agonizer to the latest version available on the App Store now. And if it's not available right now, it just means that the App Store hasn't updated in your area. That's not the fault of the developer. It's Apple being slow. Just wait a little bit until the App Store updates in your area and then you'll be able to download it. Now, if you want to continue supporting the work we do with Agonizer Synthesizer, then buying the preset pack in there is a surefire way of doing it. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. Mm -hmm.